strategically for all of us. You know, if you are programming experiences to users, whenever there is a significant shift in device form factor, um, you run the risk of being disintermediated if you are not discovered. Users are making their choices every day, and I think that's certainly one certainly for us, that's one of our drivers. Yeah, no, I think yeah, no, so one, of the, one of the things I still find surprising that there are a number of, uh, uh, not just media companies, but uh, retailers and, and uh, travel companies, finance, uh, automotive, that, that still aren't uh, engaged in the proper uh, measurement and analytics strategy with their, with their applications and their investments. Um, so it's surprising that there's still a fair amount of uh, development work and investment they've made that doesn't have the appropriate level of measurement and analytics behind it. So I think that the winners are going to be the ones that actually have measurement at the, at the forefront of, of trying to understand what the investment is. How's it monetized? Being monetized, how's it driving business? To, to take up, well, actually, uh, Jordan, why don't you talk to me about content discovery and the role that search is playing in, in discovering content on mobile? Uh, I don't know, you, you, you confirmed this, but I, I, I heard from another source that uh, in, mobile, in mobile search, 90% of clicks are on the first result. Is that accurate? I don't know that stat. If that's exactly the stat, but I know it's high. I and mean, if you think about mobile search, the results, there's there's a lot less image space to show results. Right. So, you know, everyone knows that, you know, getting higher rank is better, it gives you a better click through. Um, yeah, mobile search is gonna it's gonna be a higher amount of um, of searches towards those top one or two just because you have less you're not showing, you know, a normal search results page has has, you know, eight or ten page search plus a number of natural search, mobile have a much smaller amount. Um, I mean I think discovery is a challenge. Discovery is obviously a challenge. Um, you know, there's different ecosystems. They both have different ways. You know, if you're thinking about about Apple, they have their own way that they measure and and, and track and show top apps. And so, getting into that ranking system is important. Uh, Android Marketplace has its own. You know, we have our own algorithm, our own system. How to, how to rank that? How to determine? Um, and there's mobile web. How do you drive traffic to that? I mean, I think it really gets into having a there's there's no silver bullet. I guess is the short answer, right? So it gets into having a value proposition, understanding your users, and then figuring out where are they finding you today, and then how do you accelerate that. So I think, you know, whether it's mobile web, whether it's app, whether it's on one platform or many, I think it's understanding, you know, everyone, everyone who's dabbling in this right now has some data, and I think the challenge is trying to glean something from that data to say, you know, and rather than trying to force the data to say, well, I'd rather have, I'd rather be top ranked in the app store. Not everybody can be top ranked in the app store, right? So maybe there's a way that you're finding users that they're finding you, um, or maybe it is being top ranked the answer. I think there's different ways for everyone to kind of find that. There is no one single solution that says, okay, for everyone to find you, you have to market your app in this fashion. Um, and I think it's about just getting that information back from your current users and figuring out where